Hello and welcome, my name's Cut Here DJ and welcome to a brand new series which I'm going to be calling Indie Impressions. Um, where I play the first 20 minutes of an indie game and give my impressions on it. Um, so the first game in the series will be Salt. Now, uh, I got in contact with the developers of this game and they gave me a free copy to play. So thank you to Lava Boots. Uh, Lava Boot? I think it's Lava Boots. It's one or the other. Um, so a big thank you to them for letting me have th have this game to play. Um, so yeah, I've, I've checked out a little bit of it. It's um, it's very similar to Minecraft with the seed system, which I quite like that system. It means if you find a world that you really like, you can use the same seed and go back and play it again. Um, but without further ado, let's start a new game, uh, leave everything default, and create. So we're just going to create a brand new world for us to explore. Now this is um, island based uh, exploration. It's still in early access at the minute, I believe. Um, so yeah, I quite like uh, I quite like the aesthetics, the visuals. I mean, if you look up close on these textures, they're not the best in the world, but at a distance, they kind of work. So I like them. Uh, it's also got a little help book here. Uh, so we've got inventory. It's got crafting in it. Um, but the big feature is the fact that you can make boats. Now the only issue with making boats is you have to find the wood to make the boats. And, oh, speak of the devil. So we need a couple of these and we also need some, I believe, uh, cloth to make a sail. So that we can then actually sail the boat. So they're just kind of lying around here. I don't know if they're going to like implement some sort of like uh, oh what you call it um, uh, resource gathering similar to Minecraft or any other survival game. Thank you. Oh, that's mine. But I don't think this is survival really at the minute. I mean there they are, that one as well. This is more of a um, exploration game where you can explore things. I know there's like pirates and merchants that you can buy materials and things from. Um, so I'm just searching for all these logs. Now, how do I have enough to make anything? I know I should have enough to make a... Um, yes, a club. I can make myself a club, but I don't think I'll need that just yet. I want to make a boat. I want to go sailing. Sail away, sail away. I really shouldn't sing. Uh... Yes, we've got some plant fibres, so I'm guessing those are what we make cloth from. Pretty sure that's how you make cloth. Let's pick up the wood. Anything else around here? Ah, more there. So I like the lighting effects as well. The way it kind of breaks up through the leaves. I thought that was quite clever. It doesn't just sort of uh, appear through them. Uh, nope. Thought there was something, but it wasn't something. So now I'm just wandering around aimlessly here, looking for <laughs> logs and plants to make a boat. Uh, this is the first island you start on, which, you, from what I've found, doesn't contain any bad guys, but. Oh. I thought this was a log, but it's a chest. Okay. What have we got in here? We've got uh, logs, coins. Uh, I don't know, I can't see that. Uh. Plant fibers. Oh, is that cloth? Yes, yeah, cloth. I can't read. I need to learn to read. Okay. So if we take the logs and the cloth over, we can make a boat. Or we can make a flag. But I want to make a boat. So we're going to craft that. It's going to take a minute. And then we press B to open our boat window. Um, I want to find a place where we can start sailing. Yeah, we'll go over there. So if we could just go down here and press B, click on the boat. Is it? No, it's right click. Right click on the boat. And then we can place it down, which I think is really cool. So we can use Q and E to rotate, and then left click just to place it down. That's perfect. That'll do. Oh, oh, yeah. For some reason, when you go submerged, it just goes for a black screen, um, which I really think they should change. 
Chris, you kind of lose where you are. You can just press E to get on the boat now. This, this is the best bit. You grab, you hold it. Yeah, you hold it. Yeah. Now, if I'm going right you press E on it. And it raises the sails. Or lowers. Does it raise or lower? It's one of the other. But you use this thing here to steer it. So if I face forward, then grab it, and we steer it like this. So I want to go over there. The big mountain, this one. Oh, should I should Yeah, let's go for that one. So the steering's quite cleverly done. It's very simple, um, at least for this boat. I know there's a f at least one other boat, but you need more materials for it and it becomes easier to steer or something like that. I don't know, I haven't quite built it yet. Um, mainly because I'm very bad at these games. But, um, I do like the way this steers. It's not hard. It's just very touchy because the slightest bit... It makes sense because you're using wind power and very uh, rudimentary uh, materials to actually do this. And if I bring it up on the beach there, we can explore this island. And you can see all these islands off in the distance here. We can go to all of these. Um, and I believe the install, at least on Steam for this game, is tiny. It's like 100 megabytes or something, which is very, very good for this kind of uh, open Wildness. Uh, open wildness? Is that even a word? I don't know. I'm using it. But, uh, I mean, the colours are nice and bright. It's, uh, it's got some nice sounds as well. You can hear the birds in the background. It's got these floating particle effects, which I can't quite gather what they are. I don't know if they're fireflies or something, but it just kind of adds something to the game. It's just, um,. I like this. Nice and colourful, very simple. It's not finished yet. So they're missing quite a bit of features. Um uh, Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. What, what do we have over here? Okay. I just kinda slid down there. Probably should have been watching where I was going. But anywho, uh just grab those logs. That's a camp campfire. Oh, we can save our game. So let's just save the game. We can also rest there. I'm guessing that's similar to um, things like Skyrim and things like that. Let's try it. Just uh, rest for five hours. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, you see the sun moves and the shadows move. That's cool. That's cool. What do we have over here? Another campfire. There's two campfires on one island. That's pretty lucky. Now, you remember we left our boat over there? If I go over here, we should be able to bring it back. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. At least for me, it's a good thing. Because I don't have to kind of go back to my boat and try and push it off the uh, thing. Let's go. Now, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I'll show Now, I'm pretty sure you can actually steer this. Not steer it, drive it with just the rudder. Call a rudder. I don't know. I'm not a sailor. But I'm pretty sure you can just do this. Yeah. So if you don't want to use that, you can just wiggle your mouse. Just wiggle the mouse. It's not as effective as this. Though. Use the wind. So you know, if I if they use like um oh uh dynamic wind or something like that. I don't think that's actually a thing, but if they use some sort of like uh, where the wind will change direction, uh, not well randomly, yes, but kind of so that you can't use this if you want to go into a certain direction, or you know if you're sailing into the wind, um, you go a lot slower than sailing out of the wind, with the wind. I don't know. I should really know these nautical, um, naut nautical lingo things, but I don't. I really don't. Um, let's explore this island, see what we can find. I love, I love looking at the things in the distance. It looks very, um, you know, like you've been deserted on these, on these islands. 
It's just the distance. Uh, up close, it just doesn't look nice, but far away, it looks really, really cool. Especially with the lighting effects. The, the shadows and the co bright colours. Um, I'm getting distracted. I need to find things, people. I thought that was a log then. Confusing me. Uh, and again, it's like that. It's where the uh, the ground changes colour, and I think it's a log. I'll grab some plant fibers. <gasps> it's a deer. Now I'm pretty sure you can kill these as well. Now, can we craft like a bow or something? No, I don't want coal. I want plant fibers. We can make a trip wire and a bow. All right, craft the bow. Do we have to craft arrows? Um, inventory equip. There we go. Do we, yeah, we have to craft arrows. Oh no, do we? Yeah, oh, I wanted to shoot it. Um, I don't know how to craft. I don't know how to craft a torch. I just don't know how to craft certain things yet. Let's craft a club. Make a club warrior. Maybe we can beat him to death. So let's equip the club and the torch. And you can see it's got... It uh, lights up when the torch is near, so that's pretty cool. Now, can we club this deer to death? Come on. <laughs> I missed him. I'm pretty sure you can kill them. Um, and they drop loot and things like that. But, that's enough faff around with that. How do I... How do I... Unequip, it's that one. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's getting darker and the bad things will start coming out, I assume. Uh, is there anything good on this island besides the deer? So, because these islands are randomly generated depending on the seed. So we might not always find something amazing to kill. Well, not really kill, but find at least. Um, because I found, uh, ones where I was playing earlier, uh, off camera, uh, ones with, like, chests, um, similar to the starting island, but with m different stuff in it. I found pirates, um, I haven't found a merchant, but I'm pretty sure they were added in. Oh, a wheat boulder. Can I break this? Oh, I can break this. What will it give me? Okay, it will give me flintstone and... That one. Let's just take that. Take it all. So I can't quite see what's up here because of my recording software. Um, that's inventory. I don't want to go in there. I want to go into craft. All right. So if I craft a wooden piece and a flint, I can make arrows. Nice. Now I can use that bow. Five crude arrows. So if we equip the bow and equip the arrows, yes. Now I can t kill things. All right. So where is that? Deer. Oh, Mr. Deer, where have you disappeared to? Don't hide from me. Don't hide. It's getting really dark. It's getting really dark. Let's get this. And the club. Oh, what did that say? That's, that's got information on it. So, the club. A crude blunt weapon. Uh, on block. Physical armor. It's got a nice little stats. I did not know that. That is actually very cool. That is very cool indeed. Common arrow used with bows. That's nice. Tells you all the stats. Now, can we chop down wood with this? I don't know if you can. I haven't actually tried. I didn't think of trying that. Are we supposed to get it like an axe or something? You can create an axe in this. This is what I was like when I first started Minecraft. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, which is a great feeling, because uh, if you don't know what you're doing and then you learn by yourself, it's actually quite good. Like the moon, the moon, that's brilliant. Um, Alright, I think that'll be it for today's episode. Um, I'm going to leave the video with a nice moonlight through the tree. Um, so yeah, I actually quite like this game. Um, I mean, it needs some polishing and some extra features and things like that, or I just haven't seen them. 
Uh, it is still in early access, so buy at your own risk if you're looking to buy this. Um, I'll make sure to put a link in the description. Um, but I, I like this. I like this. I, show, I think it shows potential. Um, that'll be it for me. Uh, I like this game. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll be back in the next video.